So on to XSS. We'll go ahead and drop in. Uh, can't do that right there directly, but we could do it here. So Jim Bob. And we'll go ahead and launch that one. Uh, we got blocked by our ASM or advanced web. And we go ahead. So clearly that one's taken care of. What's your name? Go ahead and do the same thing. And we get blocked there. And just for the heck of it, we'll go ahead and take a look at the F5 logs here. And meta character and value. And there's our script tags. Greater than, less than, in our quotes. Semicolon. So we see one got allowed here. And cool, just the call to the page. Nothing actually bad there. Same thing with this one. Wow, nothing bad though. Here we go with the blocked event. Two, of, we got two meta characters, so greater than, less than. And that has to do with a bit of the separation of, you know, what we detected because again we have this in the message field so this is the one that we had more flexibility for the meta characters that we were blocking in other words more were allowed but still as said because of those script tags we went ahead and blocked this so we still took care of the attack and again no attack signatures at all so pretty cool go ahead and go back here and for the DOM, we'll go ahead and do this. And essentially the intention here is to protect it from this as well. Boom, just like the other one. So it's kind of like, you know, even though it's three separate modules, the protection mitigation still essentially is very much the same. And there we go. We've taken out the cross-site scripting and the SQL injection ones. So we've confirmed that.